Also tonight, we have an update to breaking news. One person is dead following a police chase that ended in downtown Oklahoma City. Ashley Moss was downtown and brings us the newest information. Police said that they were following behind that truck very closely earlier today, but said they had to make a quick decision when they realized that truck was headed right for the MLK Day Parade. We simply cannot let a car that's running from police or just speeding through intersections plow into a parade. We were fearful that that was a possibility. Police said they were first tipped off to trouble when they tried to stop the driver near 63rd and MacArthur. The tag came back as a stolen vehicle. Notes on the call indicated that the person who stole it may actually be armed. But when the hot pursuit led them right into the thick of the downtown area, they told News 4 they had to pull back. Once the helicopter was there and could see the car, we terminated the ground pursuit because pursuits can be very dangerous. Instead, hoping their eyes from the skies and a tactical unit already in place nearby could keep tabs on that truck. It finally spiraled out of control along Oklahoma City Boulevard, just blocks from the Martin Luther King Parade. The car rolled and came to rest. Members of our tactical unit were downtown, approached the vehicle, found the driver deceased. I was like, son, somewhere right now, probably in, in Oklahoma City, someone's being shot or being chased by the police. This bystander says he and his family were out to enjoy the celebration. But as he stopped to watch the truck and the body of the driver being hauled away. I'm lost for words right now, <laughs> you know, because, you know, you know things like that goes on in the world. But seeing it right here in your hometown and things like this happen, it's very shocking. Now, police said they may have additional information for us in the morning, but perhaps the biggest question tonight is how that driver actually died. Police said it may have been from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. In downtown Oklahoma City, Ashley Moss, Oklahoma's News 4.